So until now, there was only one single way to achieve parking monitoring for your dash cam. That was a hardware kit with few steps. The process was really difficult and not everybody understood it. And the installation of a hardware kit probably needed a professional or you had to go through a lot of manuals, a lot of YouTube videos in order to get the hang of doing a hardware kit installation by yourself. But now there's a new and unique way to solve this entire problem. And it is one of the most easiest way you are ever going to get to achieve parking monitoring. And this is going to be a simple plug and play setup. Well, I'm talking about achieving a hard wiring using a OBD2 adapter. Well, every new released car these days, I think it goes back even past up to 15 to 20 years, has a OBD2 port inside it. Well, if you don't know what a OBD2 port is and why is it in your car? Well, I have made a detailed video regarding the OBD port. And if you are interested, you can check that out. I'll leave a link right here on top of the video and of course in the description as well. If you're interested, do go ahead and check it out. And if you have some idea regarding what a OBD port is, well, this video is going to be very helpful to you because if you have a dash cam, doesn't matter which one, your 70 my DD Pi, your next Digitron Ace Plus as well, the newly released dash cam, you're going to get one of the best and the most easiest ways to achieve parking monitoring via a OBD2 adapter kit. Well, in this video, I'll be doing a very quick unboxing of the OBD2 hardware kit for DD Pi Mini Pro. And in case if you have bought a DDPi Mini Pro recently, this accessory is something which I will definitely recommend. So let's get started. So this is the hardware kit for the DDPi Mini and the Mini Pro with the OBD2 connector. So let's open up the back. So as you can see, this is a plain simple wire with just a OBD2 connector or OBD2 adapter. Along with it, it has a control box in the middle and at the other end you have the micro usb port which plugs in into the dash cam so first of all you need to identify where the obd2 port is in your car you can consult your user manual or the car's manual then plug in the obd2 adapter into the obd2 port of your car then plug in the other end that is the micro usb port into the dash camera and just leave it be then following that just conceal the wire into the beading of the car take it down into the a pillar behind the dashboard towards the obd2 port then open up the ddpi app on your smartphone then connect the dash camera it might be your mini pro or the mini then following that head into the in app settings of the ddpi app and then select the type of parking mode which you want it might be time lapse mode or normal recording or dormancy mode then select the required duration for the parking mode from 15 minutes up to 24 hours or even not shut down then turn off the car and wait for 15 minutes after 15 minutes the ddpi mini or the mini pro will enter parking mode immediately and an orange LED will come up which indicates that there is successful hard wiring. Now this is a time lapse mode video sample from the DDPi Mini Pro. So this records at one frame per second and this gives you an overview of all the events that are happening around the car in front of the camera lens and you can set this using the in-app settings. So if you have a DDPi Mini Pro and if you want to purchase this, I think this comes at a price of about 1500 rupees. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But if you don't have a DDPi Mini or a Mini Pro, but you have a Next Digitron Ace Plus or a 70 my dash cam, well, the good news is all of these dash cams are going to get OBD2 hard wiring kit and they'll be coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned to the channel. I'll be bringing updates as and when these hardware kits will be released and will be providing you with a purchase link as well. So if you have any doubts or queries regarding this, you can write that down in the comments below. And if this video has helped you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button before moving on to the next video. So thank you for watching and until next one, see you.